All right, in this video, we're gonna go over how to do a quick and easy lightning effect using the free Saber plugin from Video Copilot. So the first thing we wanna do is create a solid and call it lightning. And then we'll draw a mask with the pen tool from top to bottom in a crooked lightning shape. Then with our playhead at the beginning of the timeline, we'll add a mask path keyframe. And then we'll go about halfway down the timeline and animate some of the mask points. We don't have to move around every single one of them, just a few to add some variation to the shape. And then we'll go to the end of the timeline and animate around just a few more of the points. And now from beginning to end, our mask will move around in kind of an organic lightning pattern. And now the next thing we wanna do is add the Saber Effect plugin. And under Customize Core, let's set the core type to Layer Mask, which will set the Saber Effect to the shape of our mask. Now let's change the color to whatever we want. In this case, let's just go with a lightish blue color. And under Flicker, Let's set the intensity to around 300 and the speed to 30. Now we get that nice heavy flashing that we would get from real lightning. Make sure to join our Patreon to get a ton of perks, including a private VFX masterminds chat where you can talk to other VFX artists. Link in the description below. Then under core distortion, let's set the amount to 10, the type to energy since we're dealing with electricity. And then let's play around with things like the wind speed, the noise speed, and the scale and any other parameters that'll give us a unique look. After that, we'll uncheck the blend on top box to get rid of the main mask shape and only leave the distorted shape. Now we'll add a keyframe for end offset set to zero at the beginning of the timeline, and then we'll move our playhead a few frames up and we'll add another keyframe for end offset set to 100, and that'll animate our lightning on from top to bottom. Then let's move our playhead a few frames before this point and we'll set keyframes for glow intensity and core size. We'll set the glow intensity to around 60% and the core size to around 1.4. Then if we move back up to the point where the bolt hits the ground, we can crank up the intensity and core size quite a bit so the bolt grows brighter and thicker on impact. Then if we move a few more frames down, we can animate the intensity down a bit from the initial impact. Then we can let the core size slowly fade down a bit by setting another keyframe later down the timeline. And then a few frames further than that, we can set a keyframe for the core size set to zero to dissipate it completely. Now, if we play it back, our bolt quickly ramps up to a heavy glow in thickness on impact, hangs there for a bit, and then quickly fades off. If the bolt looks too curly, we can go back to the core distortion settings and adjust the noise scale parameter up a little bit. And if we want to add any arms branching off of our lightning, all we have to do is add another mask path to this layer and it'll automatically apply the effect. 